This is a Daihatsu Midget, a single seat Mini K truck made by Daihatsu between 1996 and 2001. Inspired by an earlier model powered rickshaw from the 1950s, the car was first introduced at the 1993 Tokyo Motor Show, with manual and automatic versions available, with options including four-wheel drive and air conditioning. As usual, these are illegal in Australia, but because we're in New Zealand, we're going to take it for a drive. One cylinder, I think, mate. It's properly JDM. It's a K truck, 660cc, some kind of weird three cylinder configuration. Um, driver's side window up and down, one of the great features. Passenger's side window does nothing it's just stuck there but there's some cloth trim on the bottom of the door and uh, you can roll it up to get some airflow now this really is the strangest vehicle I've probably ever driven there's a bunch of kids laughing at me right now as they are rolling the streets having a massive laugh at me and you know it's somewhat embarrassing the midget Oh wow, handling is frightening. I've never experienced anything like this midget in my life. To get out of here, full rotations of the steering wheel. This is no joke. That is one, two, three full rotations. Oh, to work out. It's like a drift car. You're not even drifting. That said, I would love to take this thing back to Australia. I'm going to smash it now. That's into second with 40, into third. Stopping out at 70 k's an hour into fourth. We're smashing it. We're at 80 k's an hour. Oh, it's feeling frightening around this corner. We're at 90 k's an hour. The little midget goes hard, that's for sure. Oh, speed bump. It's nothing for the midget. 660 cc. It's all you need and more. It's actually incredible. The name, possibly a little politically iffy, but the car itself, what a beast. I'm driving a midget. And in the second in the midget, there's no auto on from the indicators, you've got to take them off yourself. Now from what I understand, this little midget was used at a local shopping centre, used to kind of drag trolleys around and things like that. Um, and in that sense, it's kind of the perfect vehicle. Brakes are a little bit bitey. Um, in that sense, it's the perfect vehicle. It doesn't use much fuel. It's not offensive. It's not noisy. It does have a very interesting look and design, which I guess in some ways is a you know good little bit of publicity. It's obviously had a lot of signage on the side of it over the years. Not only do I love it, I want one. Oh, there is no fifth gear. Fourth. That's it. Fair enough. 